Hi, in this video, I want to share with you another strategy that I use uh, to take the Cisco exams. Uh, and this is actually one of the strategies that I use uh, while I was preparing for uh, the Cisco CCI security exam. Uh, as you probably know, uh, I was planning, I was preparing actually to take the exam, but uh, this is a process that I had to stop. Um, but uh, in case you're studying or you plan to take the CCIE security exam, so this is one additional resource you can add to your library. So here on the left, we can see the security exam topics. So what I did was to copy all of these uh, topics into this Word document. And then I would write a summary uh, about those topics or subtopics uh, that I was studying. Uh, for instance, if we take a look at uh, perimeter security and intrusion prevention, so it has it as subsections. We have deployment modes on Cisco ASA and Cisco FTD. So I would write a summary about the different uh, technologies or features related to that specific topic. For instance, we see uh, multi-context, context configuration, system configuration, admin context configuration, and so on. Now, this would depend a lot on the type of resource I'm using, whether I'm getting this from a book or from uh, a video or any resource that I might find on the internet. Now, I wouldn't do this for all the topics in the exam topics because some of them are easier for me to understand. So then I wouldn't write a summary. And so I would only do this for those topics that I believe that I should really invest uh, more time on studying them. And by writing my own summary, uh, at least for me, it seems to be easier to understand the way I write it, even if it's just a summary. Uh, that's what works for me. So instead of going back to the books or the videos, uh, by writing my own summaries, kind of an exercise, uh, and really to understand if I really know what I'm studying and if I can explain. Uh, so in some situations, I might even have uh, the configuration on the summary. So let me see if we can get this. So I should be somewhere around here. So we have a different use case and you can see here, we also have the configuration part. So this makes it very easier uh, when I get to the configuration or to build the labs. As you probably know, uh, this is the strategy that I use uh, for all the system exams. Uh, if I'm studying, I have to deploy a lab uh, just to really uh, make like a proof of concept of what I'm reading or, or about what I'm watching, right? Especially if you're going for CCIE lab exam, uh, this is like a, a rule, a mandatory rule or an obligation. Uh, but even for written exams, this is a strategy that I use. I always build uh, labs and this is actually one of the reasons why uh, I thought that the CCA security uh, had a lot of friction and was on setting up the labs you see studying a new technology it's it's hard okay it's already hard because you're learning new things uh, new terminologies and there is a new world that you're discovering for me if I can't uh, build a lab just to really validate if what I'm reading, what I'm watching, that's really how the way it works. Uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't work, okay? And if you look at Cisco security products, uh, you there are different requirements. There, there is a lot of friction. Uh, you have to get license to use some of the products. Uh, you can't download uh, the images uh, with uh, typical contracts associated to your account. 
uh, for security products, your account must have a certain privilege uh, from Cisco perspective. So there is just a lot of friction in the learning process. And so if you look at the friction or the learning curve to learn about those products, those technologies, plus uh, having to figure out how to get the image, how to get the license, it makes the process a lot more challenge than already is by its nature. And as someone who did the CCIE lab exam, I can tell you that if you have to worry about the license and getting the images, uh, just as going to be a painful process or a painful journey. So uh, this is one additional resources that I hope you find it useful. Uh, use it in your way. So until the next time, adios.